Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these images in here to Maya. And first thing I want to do is, do I have a little button? I've got a ref button. Okay, great. So um, I'm just going to go and I brought in a little quick square, a little uh, polygon, and I'm just going to make this bigger. I typically find when you're modeling, if you make things about grid size, you're going to be a happier human. Um, so I'm going to make this about that size. Let's freeze transformations, kill the history. Great. And come on. Let's get in here and uh, sign a new material. Let's throw on a quick Lambert. Lambert. And if I go in here and I map it, and I get my file texture, and image name, we're going to browse. And what do we got? We've got a Toma front. Come on. Faster. There we go. And so you can see the alpha channel in action. I can just see through this and just a little bit less visual clutter. Um, and I've set this up so this first one here, the is forward down the Z axis. Awesome. Okay, uh, I'm just going to make another one of these things. So I'm just going to quickly go in here, Control D, make a duplicate. And if I just hold down J while I'm rotating, there we get a 90 degree angle. Great. And let's just go and assign a new material onto this one. Let's go and put a Lambert on this. And I'm going to put a file on this. And we'll put in the side shot. Great. Okay, and you can see some of the alpha channel kind of flaking out. Some people kind of like this, uh, having these two images in, in uh, what is it, intersecting here. I'm typically not a fan. Um, I'm just going to go in here and I'll hold down J when I duplicate it. Crap! Let's try it again. J, and we'll go about 45 degrees. And I'm just going to go and move this thing. This one here will... Uh, just go ahead and do this. I can move this straight back on that. And right over there. And let's take this. And if you're wondering what the hell I just did, um, basically when I was, uh, I took the tool here, I just held down control and I clicked on the axis. I didn't want it to move on so that when I uh, moved this back, it just moved in uh, X and uh, Z and not Y. If you want to get it back to normal, just hit control and hit the center. Okay, so I got these images here. Um, and, oh, this one isn't the quarter shot. Come on faster. A little bit slow here, and then I'm going to go in here, file, browse, quarter shot. Okay, actually it looks like he's got these kind of funny things on his collar, it looks like the prisoner. Okay, whatever, the French prisoner, he's got little blue, blue stripes. Um, so, I got this in here, and I'm happy with this. Um, I might grab this thing and move it back a little bit like that, whatever. I uh, probably won't see much of it. Now, when I'm rotating around, I see the other sides of these things. I hate that. So don't forget that I'll just go in here to the attribute editor once again. I'm just going to find the shape node here. And uh, in the shape node, if I go and I find the render stats, I can turn off double-sided. I'll do the same thing here. And on this one, too. And you're wondering what the hell did that do? Well, when I rotate around, I don't see the other side of these things. Okay, so I can rotate all around my model and check it out as I'm modeling. Makes me much happier. I'm just going to throw these uh, onto a layer here. And actually, I might actually throw this one onto its own separate layer. And I'm just going to hide that for now. And I'm just going to make it so that I can't select it by accident. Okay. Um, and so I've got my references set up. And once I got something like this done, this is something I don't want to have to repeat again. So I'm just going to go in here and file, save scene as, and we're going to call this Toma01. <clears throat> um, I could also do some more checking and making sure that everything is lined up and stuff. And maybe I'm going to do a, a more serious one later on, and I'll spend some more time and go into every little detail that I'm going to do, but not on this one. I'm going to try and make a head as fast as I can and have good geometry flow. Um, yeah, this is just going to give you a really basic head. Um, what else? Okay, I think... Uh, well, I'm probably ready to begin. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go in here and... Uh, actually, do I have a trans button on here? i got a trans thing so that... And I can't see the little slider. Let's just see if I can move this up a little bit. Bastard. I can't do that. Okay, let's... If I do this and I pull this up a little bit, then I can see where the slider is. Okay, and I don't have a slider yet. Okay, so I've got to go in here and I'm just going to hit the trans button that I have. And some other videos, I'll show you how to make the trans button. It doesn't seem to really do anything right now. You're just seeing me flick along the bottom here. 
Uh, but as soon as I go in here and I create, I'm actually going to use a NURBS sphere for this little trick I'm going to start off with. Uh, but you'll see that when I use my little slider trick here, I make it disappear. Okay, and just animating the transparency. I'm just going to go into the front view, take my little sphere. And I don't know why it's not smoothing out right away, but whatever. I'm just going to put it up here. And I always like to have the eyeball look like it's staring at me, so I'm just going to go and hold down J when I'm rotating. And here I'm just going to make it a little bit transparent so I can... Yes, this is just entirely the wrong spot. There we go. Let's drag that down here. Okay, and let's do something like this and give it that little droopy eyeball there, something like this. And that feels like it might be a little bit big. Uh, let's bring it down a bit. Seems to be in the right spot, more or less. Okay, and I'm going to say it's good enough for what I'm going to try to do. Okay, move it down just a little bit. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take this eyeball, and there's a thing up here, there's a little magnet up top. You can also find it in the modify, it's called make live. Okay, and I'm going to make this thing live. And I might even do something like, uh, I could have even taken this thing before I made it live. Let's go and turn off, there it is, make not live. I'll just turn that off for a second here. I'm going to put that onto a layer as well down here, and I'm going to put it to template so I can't touch it. And I'm going to see what happens when I go Modify, Make Live. Great. So that means I can see it, but I can't select it. And this thing's down a little bit, but whatever. So first thing I want to do is when I start making an eye, I typically like going in here and using the Create Polygon tool. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to click my little spots into place here, straight along here. And when you're using the Create Polygon tool, remember, go counterclockwise. That way the normal of the polygon is always staring at you. And I'm going to put about four of these down in here, or one, two, three, four vertices down here. And then I'm going to one, two, four. Okay. And then I'm going to go over up top here. I usually like to kind of match these points up and down. Um, so actually I might do some like crap. Yeah, okay, that one's okay. And then I'm going to go in. Those two match up. Then say this one matches up and something like that. And so top and bottom. Great, they're matching up top and bottom. I don't know. It's just something I kind of like to do. Um, and that's sitting there. And, and you can see that if I use the trans thing, I can kind of see what's going on. But what's just happened is now if I take a look, you can see I just drew and it's stuck to the sphere. Um, okay, and that makes me relatively happy. Um, you know, some people go in and they'll move these pieces around. I just find this just a little bit quicker. Actually, this point right here seems a little bit far back, so I'm going to pull it up a little bit, so they're kind of a bit more even. Okay, great. Remember, it'll stick to the surface. Okay, so that's good. And I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to grab all the edges, just double-clicked on them, and they grabbed everything around the whole circumference of the object, because it's an open surface. And if I go in and I use the extrude, I start extruding out. And when I'm extruding out, uh, I'm pulling out along the edge here. And I'm just, what I'm looking for are natural borders. Okay? And so the first one would be that logical kind of section of the eye. But I go a little bit further than that. Like I could maybe go to this first little wrinkle around the eye, a little bit of this bag of groceries underneath the eye. Great. Um, and then I'll quickly... Uh, go in here and let's grab some vertices. Go back to my move tool and grab some vertices and I'll just kind of move this into... Oh, crap! Um, the make live thing is still on. Uh, I'm just going to make sure nothing's selected and I'm going to make... Uh, if I hit make live, that shouldn't affect any of the vertices because I'm in component mode. Okay, good. Yeah, let's just do this. Move this up. Okay, and I'm just going to move this over this way a little bit, this down this way a little bit. Okay, great. And I can take these vertices here. And that's part of the eyelid. Let's see how that looks. Let's make this solid. What time are we at? 9.32. Crap, I'm going to have to break soon. Okay, so I got this, and I could bring some of these forward as well. Great. And then the next thing I'm going to do is, uh, actually I'm going to stop it because I want to try and make these each one of these little videos 10 minutes. So 